Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle called Famous Grouse Ruby Cask. I'm a friend of Famous Grouse, that's a blended whiskey and if I remember right it is or it was the most often sold blend in Scotland itself. So this is a very, well, national part of Scotland and the famous grouse is one of the, uh, well, the famous animals in Scotland. And by chance I had uh, two bottles of famous grouse here. This is the normal famous grouse, uh, blended scotch whiskey in a liter bottle as this one is. And I have a second here, the uh, smoky black and that is a smoky famous grouse which is quite rare and now they have an extension to their normal range of blends uh, with this ruby cask means they have the normal famous grouse blended scotch whiskey which consists of well uh, malt whiskies from different distilleries blended together with the uh, grain whiskies and uh, the home of the famous grouse is the Glen Turret distillery, which supplies most of the malt whiskies for famous grouse. There you can see a, a big grouse uh, statue in front of the distillery. And well, with the time they have line extensions. So now they finish those whiskies again in the ruby port wine casks, which are seasoned uh, with port wine for giving the whiskey, well, an additional flavor, more fruity flavor, uh, yeah, and more, well, not balanced, but fruity intensity. They call it r smooth and rich. And she would say, our master blender has rested our classic smooth blend in specially selected cast seasoned with port which adds a layer of rich sweetness, just like a good fruit cake. We call it the famous grass ruby cask. This is a liter bottle and costs slightly above 20 euros, dollars, pounds. So this is not expensive. And therefore, I think it was able uh, to be the most often sold whiskey, blended whiskey in Scotland itself. And uh, for this finishing, they ask for a little more money, but 23 euros for a full liter bottle is still cheap. Smooth, a little juicy, a little vanilla. And a little darker, whatever that is, probably the port wine. A little, you know, this Christmas cake notes with resins and probably a little almonds or hazelnuts. It's a darker expression, not that fruit and fresh, but more laid down, more resting, uh, has an, an older feeling more mature. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful sipping whiskey. Oh, yeah, really? So there is no, uh, no bitterness, no uh, extreme uh, spiciness. It's just flowing down smooth, sweet down your tongue into your throat. No aftertaste with, with spiciness or like. Just wonderfully smooth. Wah! For 23 euros, this is wonderful stuff. Really. For a full liter, not only a 0.7 liter bottle, no, for a full liter. Long, smooth, and this fruitcake taste.
but not with a lot of spices in it, no, just the friendly side of the fruitcake. Well, one could say 3% uh, ABV more would have been better. Yes, definitely. But after the second sip, uh, the intensity builds up a little bit and you do not miss those three ABV points uh, a lot. So it, it adds on uh, each other. Every sip adds on the one before. So the intensity grows with the sips. That's an easy sip in whiskey. So whenever you have friends and you know they are very thirsty, uh, get one or two of those and they will be really, really happy. And you do not need ice, you do not need uh, any Coke. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's just all right, wonderfully made, high content of malt whiskey, I think. And it's lacking the typical uh, bitterness of, well, the re 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 fill casks used for the grain maturation. That's lacking completely. So it's a smooth, long or medium long aftertaste without any bitterness. Wonderfully made. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.